We're going to start on project two, which is creating stamps. So I'm going to give you an example of using stamps. You can see this is a, a leaf, right? I've also got a flower and a kind of skull that I've created, right? So here are three stamps. What I want you to do is roll out some thick coils. How thick? Thicker, about, about the thickness of your thumb, okay, or my thumb, right? So if I said how thick, I'd say about, you know, this thick, okay? That's right, get the air out of that coil. Now I'm rolling the coil out. Notice that my hands are going from the middle of the coil out towards the ends of it. That will make for a nice even coil. Then I take my knife and I roll the coils and cut off the ends so that I've got a nice flat surface. Oh look, I'm making little, little coils, little coils that are small, small coils that are... <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> now I'm taking this tool and I'm impressing it into the end of the stamp. This is the surface that I will use to impress textures and patterns into the clay. So I want to make sure that I'm really pressing that tool into the end of the stamp. The deeper the impression, the more texture it will show. And now, back to other things that I was saying earlier. And what these are going to allow you to do is to create texture and pattern in your work. So if I take this stamp here, and one hand on one side of it, and then the stamp on the other, if I press that in there, you get that. tools here, your, your loop tool. These are great for carving away material. So if your cups are a little thick, which these are your first time out, they probably are. You can go over the entire cup Take some weight out of there, add a little bit of repetition, a little bit of pattern. If you can't see the difference between those two stamps, how about these two? One is a positive and the other is a negative. I did this by taking one and pressing it into the end of the other stamp. Once the one on the left was a little hard, like leather hard, I think, yes. So then you press your stamp in and you wiggle, you press your stamp in and you wiggle, and then what do you get? Look at the difference. Can you tell which one is which? I hope so, because you did it just like a second ago. So, that's two examples of stamps. Here's the final product for one of the cups that I made. Lots of removing and reductive method. There's the skull stamp and a leaf. I don't know why I put those two together. It's like living death, but whatever. Good luck with yours.